Let's see how things are shaping up on the roads. All right, we're going to start here in Palm Beach County. FHP is reporting a few accidents. For the first one, 95 northbound near Forest Hill Boulevard. They say everything now to Palm Beach County. This is near Lake Worth Road in the Florida Turnpike. You can see we're dealing with a lot of congestion there. FHP dealing with delays. The legal system can be a maze. We know how to navigate our way through it. Here at Precision, we're here to help. So give us a call. Precision Door Service, a name you can trust. Ready? Hang in there. Oh, I'll let you know if there's any shot of showers. Stay tuned. Live, local, late breaking, WPBF 25 News at 9 starts now. Hey there, good morning. Thanks for joining us for WPBF 25 News at 9 on a Monday. I'm Stephen Graves and for Aaron. And I'm Nathalie Pozo. All right, let's get you outside for a live look here at the Jupiter Inlet showing pretty nice conditions out there. No rain on the radar for us to worry about right now, even though I'm sure some people say we really, really want to see it and need it. Yeah, absolutely. Let's get to first morning meteorologist Sandra Shaw with how the day and week is going to play out. Hey, Sandra. You got it. Good morning. We have temperatures right now under clear skies to partly cloudy conditions on the Treasure Coast in the 70s. It's 72 in Fort Drum, one of the cooler readings, 70 in Fort Bassinger, but 76 in Palm City and into Tequesta. La presidencia. Nosotros estamos town like Cape Girardeau, Missouri, police and sheriff officers. We probably got it. We have the top smartphones from all. The Goodbye. What's That's fantastic. Exactly what I was hoping for. They stabbed his. This all happened around 3 a.m. I will. Querida Yadira. Así es, ya estamos de regreso con la segunda ronda del día y en este momento nos volvemos a Then they were like, they were second. And I was allergy concerns. Really? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So the companies are dating issue reactions have been reported to date in connection with issue, but again, obviously that can be so You ever had this stuff? Throw them out. I have. Is it good? Yeah. You're listening to Morning Edition on WGCU-FM, Fort Myers 90.1, WMKO Marco Island 91.7 FM, NPR for Southwest Florida. I'm Emma Rodriguez, filling in for John Davis. More on the appeal of this really slow-moving TV show in 10 minutes here on WGCU. It's 7.59. Good morning. Jeez, shoes. It's 97.3, the rhythm of Miami. If you still haven't found a job, there's an event just for you this coming Wednesday, two days away. Let's start off with if you enjoy smelling armpits in the streets, you freak you. No. <laughs> you can go to town on this one. The town being New York, where you're going to find street Buenos dias, parceros. Gracias por levantarse con nosotros. Son las 8 y 16 en la costa este, 7 y 16 en el centro, donde nos escuchan desde Houston, Dallas, Chicago, Fort Worth y muchos lugares más. Y en YouTube, donde somos casi 700 personas. Buenos días. Good epa, morning. How are you? Epa, epa. ¿Qué está pasando? ¿Qué dice? Maluma ¿Qué está, hace? Maluma está en un cambio personal muy interesante. Sí, está el raro. El poder de la hora creo que, que la está, brinca. creo que está madurando y ya no está siendo el mismo niño que era antes. Es verdad. Papá. I'm Leo, I'm from Hialeah, and I love Kiss Country. Bay and Inland Waters Light Shop. This is the voice of the National Weather Service, NOAA Weather Radio, station WWG92, broadcasting on a frequency of 162.525 MHz, from the WAVV101.1 FM broadcast tower, and originating from the National Weather Service forecast office in Miami. Now for the official National Weather Service forecast for the Naples listening area today. Sunny, patchy fog early in the morning.
WQCO Okeechobee, WQJS Clueston, QCS HD 3.2. Covering Lake Okeechobee at 90.5 FM to the north and 88.5 to the south, this is Lake O's Rock Variety, WQCO. Talk all day. 105.7 Highlands Light FM. 